I've just responded to a comment on a video I made a while back called I Wish I Was a Woman Artist in a Land of Grown-Ups. And it's a comment by a user called, um, I'm not sure the pronunciation is right, but Quinn Ticker. looks like Q-N-T-K-K-A. The original video, I Wish I Was a Woman Artist in the Land of Grown-Ups, I made that video because one of my videos was taken down. And it was a video of sure some people might find offensive. I was naked in it, you couldn't see my bits, but I was naked in it. Uh, and it was taken down. And my problem with, be, in a sense, that's kind of fine as long as the rules, that's not fine at all actually, but uh, in this particular case, the, uh, it was taken down despite the fact that it was an almost exact copy of another video which is on YouTube and which has 18 plus protection so it's not going to be taken down so I had a bit of a problem with that and it's an ongoing concern but um, my problem here with Quinticker's comment and this is the, this is, I have to say this is the reason why YouTube and Google is so depressing to me I mean it's bad enough that it's a, it's a massive corporate entity with zero transparency and no accountability it's bad enough that they put adverts all over your videos it's bad enough that they have these insane um, rating systems and this insane flagging system that's all bad enough but it's the fact it's this you know what I can only think of as kind of uh, Stockholm Syndrome on the part of other users like Quintica in this case you know people who seem to want to tour the corporate line and want to understand how the corporation works and, and, and empathise with the corporation I mean I'm not stupid you know I understand why corporations need to protect their bottom line and protect their brand identity and I know you can see Google doing that you know and that's the reason for it but why would we want to support that why would we think that's okay it's not okay it results in what should be protected speech being removed and of course I can put my videos up anywhere but the fact is that's you know is speech really free if the only place you can make it is on a, a desert island somewhere miles away from anyone else so no one's going to see it that's not really free and protected speech is it just saying you can go somewhere else and do it if if, if, if a corporation owns the public square then it seems to me they have a right to protect the speech that goes on in that and, and google doesn't do it but sorry a little rant over but just to return to quintica you, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to see this quintica so i'll um respond very particularly to it um, the initial comment you made there was I cannot understand why someone would want to see a video of a scruffy naked old man insulting women by covering himself with simulated menstrual blood and acting like an ass I mean who doesn't want to see that am I right kind of a joke yes and you know I, I don't mind being referred to as a scruffy naked old man completely true uh, I don't think I was insulting women. Certainly, no woman has no woman has said I'm insulting them. Um, but if if I was, so be it. Um, and acting like an ass, if you want to think that, that's fine. You know, I I claim the right to be scruffy, to be naked, and act like an ass. I think that should be protected. Quite frankly, uh, my my response to that was this: the issue isn't whether someone would or would not want to see something. It's whether such images should be removed because some people, like yourself, by the sounds of it, don't want to see them. In other words, protected speech is only meaningful if it protects the speech we don't like individually. I mean, that's, that's, that's the, almost the definition of protected speech. If, 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 if nobody had a problem with speech, you wouldn't need to protect it. It's the speech you don't like which has to be protected. And that's Quintica, you're just not doing that at all. You're not supporting that. You go on. Here's where you start to, to tour the party line of Google. You say, no, the issue is whether a corporate entity like YouTube would want that crap on their network and if it's offensive to viewers and sponsors. Well, I know that's why Google do it. I know that's why they do it. And how do you feel about that? Do you think that's okay? It's cool that you want to do your own thing. Thank you very much for that. But you have to respect the freedom of expression in response to your freedom of expression. Where have I had any problem with people's freedom of expression? Where have I said that anybody cannot express themselves in response to one of my videos? What I object to is an, an, a faceless organisation with no accountability preventing freedom of expression. Preventing it, yes? I'm not asking your comment to be removed. This is you expressing your freedom of ex expression, you nitwit. You think you've created a significant work. Well, you might say that. I didn't say that. Just as the posters of cat pictures and fail blogs think they've created a significant work. It isn't about how significant the work is. It's about protecting speech, regardless of how offensive 
how trivial it is, as I say in this video, if you'd watch the damn thing, regardless if you think it's trivial and insignificant, it still is protected, isn't it? I mean, do you get to decide that? Or do you just like, go along with whatever Google decides? But I understand that you feel misunderstood. Oh, do you? You understand I feel misunderstood, do you? You understand that? No, you fucking don't understand that. I don't feel misunderstood. I feel that a video I made has been removed and people like you think that's absolutely fine because you personally didn't like it and Google is, is apparently in line with your personal taste. Good for you. You and Google have got similar personal corporate wanky tastes. Good for you. My response to that, just for those of you who are interested in this kind of exchange, when cat videos start being flagged off because people they think they're insignificant and offensive, as I sometimes do, then you might have a point. But the fact is, cat videos are not being flagged off because they don't damage or compromise or, or make Google stand up for its, for its claim not to be evil. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't compromise, potentially compromise, Google's ability to garner ad revenue. And yes, again, I understand how corporations work. But are you okay about a corporation telling you what you're allowed to watch? Are you okay with that? Right now, I say, and I say this arrived on video, Queen Ticket, so there's no misunderstanding. Right now, you sound like a corporate suck ass who's willing to see protected speech removed for the sake of Google's brand identity management. And it's not just identity management either, it's, it's incompetence. As I said at the top end, my video was removed when the, the video that I was responding to, which had very similar imagery, in fact, more explicit imagery, that video is, is still on YouTube and should be. It should be. I wouldn't want that, that original video removed either. But, you know, you're either for protected speech or you're not. And right now, Quintica, you're not. And all those people, and there's, there's other people in this comment section, other people I've come across before, who think, oh, well, Google's fine. It's a corporate entity. It should look after itself and we should support that. No, we fucking shouldn't. We really, really fucking shouldn't. Do you, I mean, it, it, I, I don't know how much clearer I can say that. I mean, for myself, I'll just say this. I'm going to put this video on YouTube, and I'm going to continue to put all my videos on YouTube. But I'm right for a while, I'm going to take off ratings and comments. If you want to rate and comment on my video, you can do it on UDoubles. So I'll leave links or other sites. I'll put them somewhere else. But um, but fuck YouTube. I mean, if if that's if if it's it's bad enough that the corporation is shit, but if the users are towing the pop the corporate line and doing their dirty work for them then that is, a, that is not a community I want to be part of.